everyone, welcome to my channel. I hope you're all well. I have a box opening, but it concerns me a little bit. I purchased this from Europe. It's a Dynam model, but it's not what I purchased according to the box. And I have not looked into this yet. So shall we strip this cardboard cover away and see what we've got inside? And I'm hoping it's not that, because I did not order one of those. What is going on with this packaging? <laughs> I think we better take this cover off as well, don't you? Let's get it exposed. Well, it's typical Dynam because it's got the boxes within the boxes. But I'm still no better off knowing what it is. Well, you better bust something open, haven't we? Take a look. No, but really I'm just messing around with you all. I know exactly what this is and it is what I ordered, but it's not what was written on the box. Let's take a look at this. I apologise for any noise you might hear in the background. Summer decided to come again and it's pretty hot and tomorrow's going to be even hotter. So I'm in this pokey little room. I've got the fan on. Well, I've got a prop. Four bladed prop. This is Dynam's own brand, real brittle plastic. It's a 10.5 by 8. And as with all Dynam kits, you get a spare, which is pretty brilliant, really. Saves you having to go out and get one. Comes with it. Everything's sealed. Let's break the seals open, take a look at this stuff. Danger, 2.4 gigahertz, RC, Dynam, Detrum is the motor, Dynam's own brand motor. Got a pretty generic pilot, I'm not sure I like these pilots. A couple of Y leads, because it's got flaps. And of course, ailerons. Look at this scuffy mark on this canopy. There you are. That scuffing is because they put the pilot in with the uh, with the canopy. Seems a bit silly. Well, they give you this glue to use on the canopy, and it's. This one is still runny. I've had others where they've actually completely gone rock hard. But I won't use it. I've heard bad stories about it. That um, if you're not careful, it's a bit like CA and you'll just get marks all over your canopy. I won't be using this. I've got a nice canopy glue, purpose made for the job. That glues plastic to foam and it doesn't leave any marks if you get it on your fingers. These are dreadful. <laughs> Another cheap and nasty spinner. If I was to squeeze that now, it would just shatter. I don't know what that is, a moulding tag. I have to get that cut off. That four-bladed spinner. These things, made out of plastic. Has a goodie bag with a prop adapter. Some washers tail wheel, some horns, elevator horns, an aerial, two tubes of glue, a bag full of screws, a little allen key, well, that looks like a one mil one, and a screwdriver, which is quite nice. I think they're adapters for the prop. They are, they're prop adapters with different hole diameters. So there are all the goodies in the goodie bags, or the goodie box. Sticky back decal set. Put that over there. 
Let's get out what's in here. There you go. One elliptical wing. Or one half. Servos for the flaps and the ailerons. Retracts, which are renowned to fail. You can even see now that this cover is not in line with the actual wheel well. And the wheel is up this way and it needs to come back this way. And I'll be honest, the panel lines are like trenches. They're so deep. My God. Still, it'd be good to put weathering material in them. Well, there's one. Here's the other wing. This one seems to be sitting better, although it's not perfect. Quite interesting to see how this goes together. There's the spar. And that will be for the main wing. Here we have the vertical and horizontal stabilizers with the rudder and the elevator. This is all in German. I don't know. Here's the Dynam build sheet. It's not a book, it's a sheet. So it looks like the speed controller is a Skylord. Skylord series. That whole page there is in Chinese. And it's in English on the back. And here are the build instructions for the Dynam Spitfire version 2. It says the C of G is 75 to 80 millimeters from the leading edge at root. I don't know if that's true, but we'll have to go and see. It's got a 40 amp Skylord speed controller. It's got all the surface movements indicated. It's pretty basic, this stuff is. Yep, yeah, and that's all you get on a fold out sheet of paper. And this is open. So well, let's take it out. Wow! The trenches on this! They're so deep! Crikey! Plastic screw points, no brass inlays, it's just plastic you're screwing into. Bit of glue spillage, classic Dynam stuff. Uh, one thing that does impress me is that there's no whacking great gaps in it. Although there is a lot of glue spillage. Okay. Quite a bit of space in there, I must admit. Uh, XD60 connection, well done. <coughs> Excuse me, servo's already linked up. Rudder also has a steering link. 
for the tail wheel. Uh, looks like it's got room in here for a, a brick type battery, the size of which I do not know at the moment. But the panel lining, yeah, they're just trenches. My God, you can film Star Wars on them. <laughs> oh, and look, it's got a few rivet marks. Ooh. Uh, this is pretty bland as well, the cover. No instruments unless they're on the decal sheet. Of course, I had to have a Spitfire. And this one was a reasonable price. I can't get over those trenches. Uh, you can start trench warfare again in those. <laughs> wow. Mm. Well, it's a Dynam, so what do you expect? Yeah, it's not too bad. The main thing is, if I can fly it, that'll be great, just to have a Spitfire in the collection. So that's my Dynam Spitfire. There's not much to go through, there's not much to sing praises about. I'm sure it's going to give me a headache when I build it. There's quite a lot to do on it, compared to the Arrow stuff. And I like doing stuff on planes. I like gluing, sticking, putting decals on, and I've oh got those trenches. <laughs> those panel lines are massive honestly you have to to really appreciate how deep those things are I mean just look at them I mean I could grow vegetables in these trenches and they're showing up black on my viewfinder I don't know if they are on the video we'll see when I edit it but they're not they're actually that's shadow. <laughs> God almighty. Do you know, why hasn't anybody on the videos about the Diamond Spitfire mentioned the depth of the panel lines? Not only the depth, the width. I mean, they're massive. It just beggars belief. Why don't people say, oh, by the way, look at these panel lines. They're ridiculous. Well, I don't know, it's probably just me. I'll get over it. <laughs> oh, God, no. What have I done? What have I done? Let's put it away. Oh, my God. A tiny bit of foam damage here and there, just a little bit. I don't think it's anything to worry about where it's been knocked around a bit through age. There's a hole in here. Look at this glue. This comes out. Hole here for the uh, wires from the wing. I think this is a keying system. So you join the wings and then when you plop them on. I can't even remember the wing length on this. I think it's a 1.2. I'll see if I can find the specs. I've seen a few different types of Dynam Spitfires. One was a blue and a green. This is a grey and a green. And the blue and the green was only three bladed prop. This will probably be a winter project for this year. So over Christmas. Or oh. well, when the weather's really bad in November, January, February times, I will work on this one. Here's a good bit of quality control for you. This picture is printed backwards. We have a Spitfire. It's version 2 by Dynam should be real good fun to put together. I'm sure it's going to give me lots of headaches. And fun to fly. But let's not prejudge. Let's, uh... <laughs> oh, God's sake. Ooh. 
let's get a lot of filler out and fill those trenches in or panel lines as I'm sure Dinah would like to call them well I bought it I've got to live with it I'll do what I can with it and we'll see where we are and I've got a few more box openings to get out of the way and then I can start working on my Trojan so thanks for watching stay safe stay well I look forward to seeing you on another video cheers